What's going on my peeps? How the hell you guys doing? Thank you for tuning back in with me. Mr. Just Right One is damn sure checking back in with you. Man, today I got a real short quick video I'm going to do for you guys today and it is on a by a company which is making a lot of waves right now, making a lot of headroom in the industry and that company is off. That's right, the R is silent on this. I did reach out to them and ask them exactly how do you pronounce this. They tell me the R is silent and you do pronounce it off. It is the Gear RTA 24 millimeter single coil flavor banger. What we're going to do is we're going to dive down, build on it. I'm also going to tell you how you can win one. That's right, I got one for me and one to give to you. Also, I'm going to be announcing the winner of the FP. So without further ado, let's dive down, build on this thing, and we'll come back up, take a look at it, and I'll give you my final thoughts, opinions, views, pros, cons, all those other good things on it, all right? So without further ado, let's do so right meow. All right, folks, so here we have the off gear RTA in the packaging in which it is contained. Color indication indicates that it is black. Here is the side. You can pause that, read that if you'd like. The scratch and sniff and all that other good stuff. Gear RTA black. There is what's contained within, but I'm going to show you that. So without further ado, let's look at this. So, see that R had me messed up because I always see the R should be upright, but then it's backwards. So yeah, they say that it is a silent R. All right. So you have this tank extension, which ups the juice capacity. You have the gear RTA. And I'm going to pull this out because I know it's going to be a pain in my butt to get out. So I have to give you two drip tip options. Kind of like a wide bore and then more restricted. Both of them are standard 510. And you also have some cotton, some terminal screws, looks like a 510, a static, another static 510, some O-rings in different colors, two coils they give you is 0.33 and 80. I like the fact that they labeled that indicated that. And you got your flathead screwdriver and an owner's manual. Kind of tells you how to build it and all, but no need because I'm going to dive down, take a look at it, and build it for you real quick. All right. Probably won't even use that screwdriver. Set that to the side. Let's go ahead and take a look at this build deck and what we have here first. Oh, two really wide open kidney ports to fill <laughs> that's really really wide open airflow adjustment is on the side uh, it spins all the way around nope it stops that's really unique okay let's see one stops stop okay well I guess it was just spinning a little more than I thought it should earlier <laughs> either way it does stop and lock into place the branding gear off off gear there is the build deck looks pretty simple to build in really nice deep juice well underneath it that the looks are really deceiving when you look at it like such that is very very unique how far down that goes and the glass That was just slide off where you see gear there. The top cap of that is a little conical, not too much. It's really kind of a flat. It does have a conical design to it, but it is semi flat in there. And there's the fill lid and I guess that's where they implemented the gear for the name gear right there on the lid. Not too bad. So what I'm going to do is put this back on here. Like such. And I'm going to focus on this build deck. It looks like four flathead or four flathead screws, and it means you can build your single coil clockwise or counterclockwise. 
Grab my little build kit and see what I got to do on this real fast. And my build kit is the Wotafo build kit. I love this thing. Give me a rod. Give me a screwdriver. A pair of scissors. My wire cutters. And my pliers for straightening my coil. All right. So all that back to this side. First thing I'm gonna use is my coil jimmy. First thing I'm gonna use is my scissors. Put that on there and you can see that that's not gonna fit with the insulator the way it is around that base there I mean, you've got a positive and a negative so one lead has to be on this side one lead has to be on this side so what I'm going to do is just add a wrap like such bam and that should sit like so so Sorry about that. Little man needed some attention. That's going to be a pain in the ass. I can tell you that already. A little bit hard to get that in there, but it's not impossible. This takes a little finessing. You know, you know me guys, if something don't fit, hell I'll spit on it. I'll make it fit. Let's take my cutters. Sorry about that guys, my battery died. Talking about bad timing. And this damn camera don't give you no kind of alert. It just goes beep, dead. What a joke. All right. Well, we got that all done up. I'm gonna go ahead and juice it up with some lemon twist. And I've really found myself enjoying this golden crust lemon bar. Stuff's on point. Ain't got much left in this bottle. If I run out, I'll go grab some more because I got another bottle of it. I'll do is just kind of soak the cotton a little bit. Then I'll grab it right there because I know it has that juice well on the bottom. Shoot some down there. Shoot some down there. And make sure my cotton is kind of tucked off in there. And I'm going to rock it with the glass that came with it. It leaves it at the 2.5 mil, 2.5 mils capacity. But remember, it does come with this one here to up your juice capacity to 3.5. Not like that one is going to make a little bit of a difference. But typically with flavor bangers, man, you know their small juice capacity. Make sure my airflow is closed. Those wide open fill ports. Damn, 
Damn, that's a tight fit. Way too tight. And there we go. I really wish that both the drip tips that are offered had the same bore because I didn't want to use that one, but that one would look better because it's black. The odd shape of them too. I'm not a real big fan of that shape. I think that should have just tapered down over that gear and maybe done away with the gear. But let's open her up. Sure she's not leaking like a cyst. Don't seem to be leaking. She's a chucking right now. Tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take it back up top, show you or tell you my final thoughts on the gear by off. Welcome back up top, folks. And that was the gear RTA by off. Remember, I told you guys I'm going to give you an opportunity to win your very own. But before we do that, I still have the FP that I must give away. And the winner of the FP is Brandon Farmer. Congratulations to you, man. You have yourself 48 hours to inbox me via Messenger, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it may be. And I will give you the details on how to claim your prize. So, pros and cons of the off before I give one away. The build deck, I feel as if they would have spent a little more time on, you know, testing the placement of the screws and the little lip on either side and the divider barrier between both screw posts would have been a lot better for them because it's very, very complicated to get your coil in there just right. There's not enough real, I mean, there is enough real estate, but it's a very tight fit in there. Secondly, aesthetically, I'm not a fan of that drip tip. It's an odd shaped drip tip. It doesn't look right. It just, to me personally, I'm not a fan of the drip tip. But the flavor off of this thing, is actually pretty damn good. And so is the cloud production. I could probably take the wattage up a little bit and take it up to 39 watts. I know that lemon twist and I know exactly what it's supposed to taste like because I've been vaping the hell out of that juice. I love that lemon twist. I'm getting all the notes I would expect to get from the lemon twist on here. It's a, with that coil being right underneath the chamber, really small chamber, you know it's gonna spell flavor. I like the fact that you can have your coils wound clockwise or counterclockwise, very, very, helpful to beginning builders if you like single coil and if you like like a now i know this is a bigger mod this could go great on a single battery smaller mod it would really kick out and really put shine in that aspect because it's real compact and small this is what i had this is what i used the airflow is a little bit loud not intolerable by any means And that's a half. Three quarters. Let's hit it almost all the way down for that, like that. Let me cut the water down just a little bit. For that like really, really single coil, real semi-restricted. Damn. All right, the flavor really shines <laughs> in that aspect. All right, so it's about 24 millimeters tall, by the way. I was gonna tell you that, completely forgot to tell you that. I did tell you the juice capacity. The only thing I haven't told you is the price, and it comes in at a price of $34.99 on Vapor DNA is where I've seen it at, and that's where I think you can pick it up right now. $34.99. On this one, I think I would pass. I would like to see that price sub $30 on this one. Uh, just for the little fit and finishing, with the terminal post on the deck itself 
I'm not a fan of that. You may be a fan of that. You may still be rocking round wire builds. Round wire builds, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, if you're rocking like a 22 gauge or 24 gauge round wire, it should be a very simple build for you. Uh, that's where that market's going to be at. And I still don't think it should be at that price point of $34.99. Sub $30 range, sure. If you can find it out there for less than 30 bucks, do yourself a favor. Pick up the gear by off. And your chance to win one. And what I want you to do in order to win one is, of course, you got to be subscribed to me. You can like this video if you like it. You can dislike it if you dislike it. I am perfectly okay with that. I accept that. I do not expect everybody to like the video. If you choose to, great. If you don't like it, that's fine too. But leave me a comment and tell me what your thoughts are on the off brand. And if you think the headway they're making is going down the right path. I mean, you know, they redid the mesh for the profile, which I really enjoy the mesh that comes out with that. So I'm anxious to see what else off has up their sleeve. You know, maybe a matching mod to go with it. You know, a real small compact mod would be really, really cool, really unique to see. Let me know what you think of the company off and the gear RTA in the comments down below. And that will enter you for a chance to win. The next video I do, I will be sure to pick a winner. So Get your comments in and get them in fast. Thank you much. Mr. Just Right One is checking in and checking out at the same damn time. I absolutely love y'all. Stay focused. Stay blessed.